Thanks for inviting us in. You know, this busiest travel day of the holiday season is almost in the books. As Hoosiers head home for Christmas, the rush to get a COVID test is really ramping up. But we wondered tonight, should you get a PCR test or one of those rapid tests? And what if you can't find a rapid test? Anne Marie starts our big story tonight with answers. Long lines are taking over COVID test clinics all across the country and here in Indiana too. And at home test shortages are leaving stores like CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, even Amazon with empty shelves. Very frustrated. I've been looking for a test for about all week actually for a few days now. Earlier this week, our own 13 investigates team checked on eight different stores around the area. Only one of those locations had a test on the shelf. We sold 12 of them in the first half an hour that we were open today, so this is the last one we have. We're saving it for somebody. Making the problem worse is some of the confusion over which test people should be taking, rapid or PCR. It's kind of just confusing on what's actually correct and what I need to get to be able to go home for Christmas, see my family, all that stuff. Right now, these 10 over-the-counter at-home COVID tests are FDA approved. They offer quick results in about 15 minutes and should give you an accurate idea whether it's safe to attend holiday gatherings. That rapid at-home test is the right thing to do if you want a rapid, time-sensitive assessment of whether or not you are infectious right before you go into a gathering. Then there's the PCR option, which you have to get at a clinic. Experts say they are the most accurate and should be your go to when deciding when to travel or to go back to the office after the holidays. Now, if you happen to be looking for a rapid test but can't find one because of the high demand, you're advised to keep checking back as they restock. And if you're going to be going for a PCR, keep in mind it can be several days to get those test results back. If you've got one of those rapid tests and plan to take it before the holidays, doctors say the key is taking it at the right time. So they're recommending maybe 20 to 30 minutes before your gathering begins. That way you'll have the most accurate gauge on whether you should go, especially with the shortage that we're seeing with these tests. Don't waste a test if you're already feeling sick or have the start of symptoms. At that point, it's best to assume that you're COVID positive and isolate yourself. Then maybe use that test two to three days after your symptoms begin. Those COVID tests are crucial for people who are flying to their holiday destination this year. Airports across the country saw millions of people passing through today, and with the huge crowds comes the heightened risk of COVID spread. But our Rich Nice stopped by our airport today, Indianapolis International, and says things seem pretty standard with some required safety precautions. A fairly calm, quiet evening at the Indianapolis International Airport, but Thursday was projected nationwide to be the busiest holiday travel day before Christmas. And here in Indianapolis, more than 16,000 travelers expected to depart from this airport on the busiest days. Several families welcomed their military members home for Christmas, and others getting ready to travel internationally need a negative COVID test before they can leave the United States. The airport has an on-site testing facility. 